right, Red Nation, today we're talking about whether or not you should become a radiologic technologist, and especially about the salaries of radiologic technologists, as that's one of the big factors that can influence your decision on whether or not to become a rad tech. And from how radiology works, we have bite-sized information about the physics of radiology. This can be quite helpful as you're studying for your registry exams if you decide to become a technologist. We added a post to our website, which is all about salary information for rad techs. First thing we'll jump into here is the median and average salary for radiologic technologists. So the median salary is about $61,000 and the average salary is about $66,000. This compares to the average salary in the US of about $30,000. So it's a relatively well-paying job given that you only need a two years associate's degree in order to become a radiologic technologist. There's well over 200,000 radiologic technologists that are practicing today in the United States. Becoming a rad tech does allow you to have the freedom to move from one part of the country to another part of the country as operating the radiologic equipment is relatively similar. Sometimes there are some differences in the registry requirements from one state to another, but in general, there is a nice flexibility in moving throughout the country as a radiologic technologist. As with any profession, there's gonna be a range of salaries for different individuals, depending on your experience level, depending on what part of the country you live in. The kind of standard range would go from upper $40,000, close to $50,000 for what we call the 25th percentile. And then the 70th percentile is close to $100,000. So if you're living in an area that has a higher cost of living and you have some experience under your belt, you could expect to definitely be earning close to that $100,000 level. We go through in detail, but the states that pay the most are the ones that have the highest cost of living. So if you just look, you would say California and Hawaii, those are the states that pay the most for radiologic technologists. So I wanna go live in Hawaii. But if you wanna think also about the actual cost of living and how that factors in, when you get your paycheck, you then have to go pay rent or pay your mortgage. You take into account the cost of living, states like Minnesota and Illinois actually come up on top. Radiologic technologists are the ones that interact with the patient. They move the patient onto the actual imaging equipment, especially from the gurney to the scanning table. They're in charge of the scan protocols, which include the level of radiation which is used and that trade-off between the image quality in your images and the level of radiation that's used to make the images. Interact with the radiologist to make sure that the protocols are effective. On some articles that you might see on the web, there's lots of different terminology that are used from radiology technician, rad technician, all different types of things. But in general, the accepted terminology in the US is radiologic technologist. With anyone, if they're not using that terminology, they're most likely one of these sites that's just writing general articles. The term actually is radiologic technologist. And in general, you want to use that term when you're speaking with a radiologic technologist because they will actually take offense if you use the term technician in order to describe their job. The highest salary for radiologic technologists actually are California, Hawaii, and Massachusetts. States that have the lowest salaries for radiologic technologists are Arkansas, Alabama, and Mississippi. The fact is though, there's vastly different cost of living in different parts of the country. So if you just look at those numbers alone, it doesn't take into account that your house is actually gonna cost a lot more if you're living in Hawaii or if you're living in California. So if you go to these states, that's not the actual amount of money you're gonna make, but that's the relative amount so that we can just compare these states in terms of how far your money would go in these given states. See, it's actually much different. None of the top three are actually in the top three anymore. So the new top three in terms of best value to live in as a radiologic technologist would be Minnesota, Illinois, and the state of Washington. The bottom three to live in as far as the best deal would be New York, Washington, D.C., and Hawaii being the worst one. So even though Hawaii was the second best paying, the cost of living in Hawaii is so high because everything has to be flown in there. 
the cost of living is relatively high and housing is relatively expensive. So at least we wouldn't recommend in general to pick up and move to Hawaii if you're looking to improve your standard of living as a radiologic technologist. If you're coming to the end of high school or if you're in another field and you're thinking about retraining into the field, becoming a radiologic technologist actually requires just a two-year associate's degree, programs where you can get a bachelor's degree, and it's even possible to go on for a graduate study. Usually people do that after they've already take a full-time position. Practicing radiologic technologists, a little over 60% have an associate's degree, 24% have a bachelor's degree, and then 6% have a graduate degree. After completing your schooling, you take a registry exam with the AART. And after you've passed your registry exam, you're then a registered radiologic technologist. So you get the initials RT at the end of your name. You get to go update your LinkedIn, update your resume with the RT. RT has more than 300,000 radiologic technologists that are registered. At this point, I've mostly been talking about radiologic technologists generally, but typically the first thing is to go and study to be an X-ray radiologic technologist. There are programs available and more positions available as an X-ray tech, but the salary is a little bit better if you go to be a CT, ultrasound, and MR technologist. So a lot of times people will actually cross train into these other modalities after they've already become an X-ray tech. But it is possible actually to go straight and become an ultrasound stenographer or become an MR technologist straight away without having gone through the X-ray school first. A survey on our YouTube channel here at How Radiology Works and we found that about 85% of the technologists thought it was actually better to go through the path of doing x-ray school first and then go on to do either ultrasound or MRI because you get the basics of your x-ray training. If you already have a lot of medical and professional experience, you might consider going straight into ultrasound or MR as those are a little bit better paying in comparison with being an x-ray technologist. Does it affect the salary of a radiologic technologist? Like we talked about, the actual place that you live is actually hugely important as far as the salary of a radiologic technologist. As of yet, I don't know of a lot of technologists that are able to do their job remotely. So you typically need to live relatively close to the hospital or clinic where you're practicing. Job prospects look for radiologic technologists. They actually look relatively good. And the Bureau of Labor Statistics is calling for a 9% increase in radiologic technologists over the years 2020 to 2030. As well, we know that there's a lot of baby boomers who are retiring now. They're going to be needing more healthcare services. General healthcare is really a strong field to go into as far as the current need. What kind of environments do the radiologic technologists work in? Actually, the majority work in hospitals. So 60% work in hospitals, followed then by doctor's clinics, and then diagnostic laboratories. Which employers are paying the most? Actually, the employers that are paying the most are a lot of times when radiologic technologists are using their skills that they got in radiology school and in practicing clinically, and then going to apply those in industry. So in research and development and in management and consulting, those are the highest paid jobs as a radiologic technologist. We did a survey at How Radiology Works and we found that 60% of the respondents actually said that they are currently hiring at their facility for radiologic technologists. 4% said, no, they're not. And 16% they're not, but they should be. But you also have to consider that being a radiologic technologist, you are one of the direct respondents to the patients. And you're also directly answering to the radiologist when they're calling you up and saying, where are my images? I really need them now in order to make this diagnosis. If you're thinking about a city that you wanna live in, you're really gonna to wanna to do the research yourself to see how much housing costs in that area and groceries and things like that, relative to what the salary that you could get at a hospital or clinic in that area. All the top paying cities in the top 10 for radiologic technologists, they're all in California. But like we talked about, you also have a relatively high cost of living there. 
So when you're making the decision yourself, you want to take those things into account. As an aside, if you want to talk about where's the highest density of radiologic technologists, that's actually in Rochester, Minnesota. So at the Mayo Clinic, Rochester, Minnesota is a relatively small city and there's a lot of radiologic technologists. So there is many more radiologic technologists per population in Rochester, Minnesota and compared with other places. I hope you found this useful as far as the salary of radiologic technologists. Again, there's lots of other resources online. So I would consider looking at a number of resources from a number of individuals. You want to hear from some people that have firsthand experience of doing the job day to day. So some of the things that I've heard about for radiologic technologists is actually, it is a relatively labor intensive task where you do need to do that process of moving the patient from the gurney to the table. So if you're relatively worried that those types of tasks would be hard on your body, radiologic technologists might not be the best avenue. In general, radiologic technologists is a very well-paying job, especially if you just have an associate's degree. There's just a few things that you could do that are actually higher paying with an associate's degree. Those are a lot different though, like if you become an air traffic controller or if you become a computer programmer, those are also two careers that you can do actually with an associate's degree that you could be paid better than a radiologic technologist. So if you do have crazy spatial reasoning or you really like telling computers what to do, you could think about doing one of those things. If you're really interested in a job in the medical field, definitely consider learning more about what it's like to be a radiologic technologist. And for more about the physics that you need to know as a radiologic technologist, check out our website, howradiologyworks.com.